Do you have trouble staying on top of your tasks? Do you have too many unorganized notes, emails, calendar entries and ideas? Today we will try out a tool that uses AI to organize your whole life. It plans your day, it schedules your tasks, organizes your emails, comes up with next steps to take and it can extract ideas from your notes and all you have to do is chat with it. Now today we have many note-taking apps with AI features, for example Notion. But these apps are often not AI first. They weren't built with AI in mind. AI was just slapped on as an additional afterthought later. Also, I think Notion is getting too big with too many distracting features. So if you want something focused that was built with deep AI integration from the beginning, check out this tool. It's perfect for entrepreneurs and students and everyone who wants to organize their life. And they call themselves the AI personal assistant for ADHDers. Now, I don't have ADHD. In fact, I I think it's not a real thing, but maybe this app is still useful for us. Let's find out together. My name is Florian Walter and this is the AI Tool Corner, where I review the latest AI software to find out which ones can actually improve our lives and businesses. The tool is called Zena AI. I will put a link into the video description below and it's free. So let's create an account. When you first log into your account, you have to go through an onboarding process where you get asked some questions. Now I have already done this, but when I go into the settings, personalization, I find the same questions again in case you want to change them later. What do you want to do with Zena AI? What do you want to use it for? And so on, just answer all of these. And yes, I'm already over 30. For do you have ADHD, I selected yes even though I think ADHD is not the real thing, but I wanted to see what this AI does in particular with this enabled. And we can even select a conversation style, just select whatever you prefer. Below you can also add custom instructions for the AI to take into account when they reply to you. I told it, I'm a busy guy, please keep your messages concise and avoid unnecessary fluff, but still include all important information. You can add multiple of these instructions and customize your AI assistant this way. Let's also take a quick look at the proactive settings here. This is really cool because unlike tools like ChatGPT, this AI will actually message you first multiple times a day with suggestions for new tasks, what to do next and so on. We will take a look at this later and here we can configure the time of the day where we want this to happen. Let's just keep the default settings for now. Now of course we can start with an empty workspace and just start adding notes and tasks. But if you already have data somewhere, for example Notion, you can also import it. So here I prepared some unorganized notes with different ideas and tasks and we want to import them into Zena. So we select add import. Here we can import from Evernote, Apple Notes, Microsoft Word, whatever we want. We select Notion. And then we have to authorize our Notion account to import these notes. This can't delete any notes from Notion, it can just read and import them. And then we have to select the notes we want to import, all of them. We don't want to select a folder and then we import them. All notes are imported and now the question is, will this actually be better than Notion or will we have the same mess as before? Let's find out. Now before we take a look at our notes and all the cool stuff we can do with them, let's also import our emails because my email inbox is messy as well. And I want to see what Zena can do for me to organize this mess. So again we click on add, connector this time, and here we can connect our Gmail account. Just select it here, give it the necessary permissions. Then we can change the filters for the emails we want to import. I want to increase the time span, but not change any of these other settings. But important, let's turn AutoSync on so that when we get new emails, they will be put into Zena automatically. Then it shows us a preview of the emails it will fetch and we can start syncing them. Perfect. One more thing. I also want to connect Google Calendar so that Zena can schedule calendar events. Again, we can configure import filters. Again, we get a preview of the tasks that are already in my calendar and let's start syncing them. We can also sync the other way around from Zena to Google Calendar, but we will do this later. You can also connect a Google Drive or a Slack account, but we skip this here. And then here under knowledge connector, we find our calendar and our Gmail folder. Now the way this works is that every email and every calendar event is imported as a node into Zena because everything you work with is basically a node. We can open these nodes, but they are just our emails basically. So how is this useful? How will this help us organize our life? Because right now this is not really useful yet, right? Now the best place to start organizing our life is in the inbox. 
Because here the AI will take each node that goes into your workspace, analyze it and suggest next steps to take, like creating tasks or events. And the AI does this automatically with everything that comes in, with every new email, every calendar event and every node you write yourself. For example, we imported this calendar event with a meeting with Julia. The AI read this calendar event and analyzed best next steps to take. Prepare agenda for Julia and review her background before the meeting. Now we can accept these tasks as they are, but we can also edit them to customize them. And the AI even added a date and a priority for these tasks. And the time it selected is pretty smart because the meeting with Julia is on Sunday morning, 26th. And it also picked the 26th, but a little bit before, right? So that we go into this meeting well prepared. So we can customize this if we want, or we can just accept it, which then creates these tasks in our to-do list. Here I got a security alert email, so the AI suggests checking our Google account and the connection immediately with a high priority, which makes sense, right? So let's accept this as well. Now besides tasks, the AI also suggests how to organize our notes by putting them into folders and giving them appropriate tags. And it's a good idea to go through your inbox regularly, process all of these incoming notes, and then your workspace is primed for getting work done fast. But if there is a note you don't want to take care of now, you can also snooze it for later, for example tomorrow, or you can mark all as done to just get rid of them. So now the AI organized my notes into folders, and it also created a bunch of tasks we can find here in our to-do list. We don't have any tasks for today, but for future days. We can see them here in the list or in this timeline view, where we also have a calendar with all the tasks from Gmail, but also the ones we just created. Now it's a good idea to also sync these tasks back into our Google Calendar, right? Because right now it's only a one-way street from Calendar into Zena, but we can also add a connection for the other direction. So again, Calendar, sync tasks to GG Calendar. Let's add a source here, give it the necessary permissions and also enable clean up outdated synced tasks so that Zena can delete events from Google Calendar. And let's sync them. So now every task that Zena creates will also be scheduled into your Google Calendar. Great. One more tip, enable notifications in Zena so that it can actually notify you when a task is about to be due. We can change the notification time 30 minutes before and I recommend to enable device notifications so that you can actually receive them without having the website open. When we click Ask AI, we start a new AI chat, which we can use to organize our life further. Down here, we have some suggestions which are based on our actual notes. For example, I see a security alert about Composio. What is Composio and what should I check? Let's ask the AI. And it tells us what it is. It gives us the source note and it suggests next steps to take. We can also start a new chat. I don't have anything to do today. Reschedule some of the upcoming tasks to today. And the AI suggests to schedule some of the high priority tasks to today, so it makes smart decisions. Here we can see the suggestions and they will only be applied after we click the apply button. Cool. So now when we go to the tasks list, we see these four tasks under today. So we didn't have to modify them ourselves, the AI did all of the work. And here's something even cooler. As I mentioned before, Zena also has a proactive AI agent, which we can find when we click the home button. And this one automatically sends us messages every day with suggestions for next steps to take. So it found some high priority tasks and now we can use the AI to schedule them. Again, you can change your preferences in the settings and how often this proactive agent should start a new chat and on what weekdays, so you can customize this here. But we can also chat with specific notes. For example, let's take a look into our Gmail folder where are all our email notes. Here I have this very long unorganized email with video ideas and I want to send this to my AI chat, which opens the sidebar. The sidebar is another way to access the AI chat. And down here we have one note selected, which is our video ideas note. If we need more notes for the AI to work with, we can select them as well, or we can set the context to all, which has then access to our workspace, but the suggestions are less exact. Okay, so this AI chat has access to this long email. And the first thing I wanted to do is summarize this email and list all the mentioned tools. So it summarized the email and gave me a neat list, which is much more organized than this huge block of text that we originally got. And then I want to tell it to research each of these tools online and add a short description to all of them. 
Now here's the thing, this Sky Assistant can't browse the internet. We have to select this Online Assistant instead. And Sky actually suggests to resend this message with this Online Assistant selected. This is a little bit of a bummer. I think the tool should automatically switch between the correct model, or it should be one model that does everything. Switching manually is a bit annoying. I hope they will improve this in the future, but let's resend this email with this suggestion. Now it's switched to the online agent, which can browse the internet, but this one doesn't have access to our notes. So the online agent researched each tool and it put the information into this table. Now the layout of this table is broken, but I'm sure they will fix this in the future. Again, we can find sources for all of these infos. For example, here it found the information about voice type, which by the way, I also have a video about, which you can find on my channel. But what I want to do is I want to create a new note and put all of this information in there so we can use it later, right? Again, the online assistant can't make changes to our note, only the Sky assistant. So we can select it here or in Instead, we can also write add sky to switch a bit faster. Create a new node with a list of all these tools together with their descriptions. Then sky suggests the node to create. We click on apply and boom, here is our new node with the AI tools and the descriptions. Let's start a new chat because there is also another model called search, which we can use to search nodes throughout our workspace. Please find me all security related notes that I need to act on soon. Again, it would be better if the agent could automatically switch between these different models, but for now we have to do this manually. But this was fast and it found all these emails and notes that contain something security related that we need to act on right now. There are also custom models you can use, everything from GPT-5 to uh, Cloud, Gemini, Croc and so on. But for this, you either have to buy credits or add your API key. But I don't use them at all. I just use the included models, which don't cost extra. Now, instead of a specific node, we can also select all nodes in the workspace and turn on reasoning, which makes the AI think longer. And then we can ask it something like, what steps should I focus on next to really move my business forward? Now the AI will actually think and it will take all our notes and infos into account and come up with the best suggestions. So it gave us some suggestions and as always it points to the source notes for reference where it got a particular information from and it suggests more tasks to add and down here we have a list of the source notes. If you want to go back to a previous chat you can do this up here. Let's take a closer look at our notes. So everything here under knowledge is a note. Our emails are notes, calendar entries have notes, and then we have our own notes. We can organize notes into folders and when we click a folder, we see the notes in this folder in this overview. We can display our notes as a grid, a list, a series, or as a canvas. On this canvas, we can move notes around. Uh, we can zoom in and out. I don't know what exactly you might use this for, but it's probably good to have. Now, when we open a specific note, of course, we can modify it. Here we have different slash commands available to create different kinds of formatting. Up here in the header, we can add text and a summary, or we can let the AI do this for us. There we go, the AI selected the appropriate text. We can modify this if we want, and we have a short summary. Another quick cool feature that I've not seen anywhere else is this pop-up viewer which puts this note into this pop-up view. Why is this useful? Because this window stays on top while we are doing something else. For example, we can browse the web to research each of these tools here, and this window will stay on top this whole time, and then we can update this note right here. And this is just a nice way to work, especially if you only have one screen. You can also create folders manually, organize notes yourself, or let the AI do it. And we also have a search functionality where we can search for notes or apply any of these filters here. Let's take a closer look at the tasks tab as well. We have already seen our AI generated tasks here for today and for later. For each task, we can also add subtasks and we can also find a note where this task is coming from. When we click on select, we can select multiple tasks at once and use AI to prioritize them, break them down, schedule them or create a new plan. And of course, we can always open a new AI chat and just tell the AI what we need to do. I need to clean up my room, walk the dog and nap for 13 minutes today. Please schedule these tasks. And there we go, a bunch of suggestions with good times. We can apply them and then we can find them in our task list and of course in the calendar and even in Google Calendar.
and AI automatically picked times where I'm actually free. So it put my nap right before cleaning my room and rocking the dog here a bit earlier. You can also find the calendar here in the sidebar where we also have this AI chat. Just click the calendar icon. And the third icon here is the focus box. Let's say there are certain tasks I want to do right now. I can add them to the focus box. And this is basically just another to-do list with the tasks you want to focus on right now. And just like notes, we can open this focus box in this pop-up viewer, which follows us around throughout the web. So I can keep this open all the time, do my research, and then when I'm done, check these tasks off. This is a really nice focused way to work. Zena also has this Chrome extension that you can install, which opens in the sidebar. Here you can access your notes and they have a web clipper. So if I like something like this blog post, I can just select everything and then I can right click and insert this into a, a new note or I can press Ctrl M as the shortcut and it puts this whole blog post into this note. I can give it a title. I can again tag and summarize this using AI. And then I have this note here in my workspace for later. Isn't this cool? And if you just quickly want to add a note for today, the extension is useful for that as well. Zena also has a mobile app, which basically has the same features as the web version. I tried it out. It feels really snappy and native. So if you want to take notes and chat with your AI assistant on the go, you can use the app. So what's my final review of Zena AI? I encountered a few bugs when I used this tool, but when I contacted the support, they were very quick to fix them. Is it actually better than Notion? I think it is, because Notion is bloated. At the same time, Notion doesn't even have a real to-do list. It just has these checkboxes that you can put into your notes, but no actual task list. Notion also has AI, but the integration is not as deep and as first class as with Zena AI, which was built on top of AI. So if you need something very focused, then you might want to check out Zena AI. Again, you can find the link to Zena AI in the video description. Try it out for free. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel for more AI tool reviews in the future. Then we'll see us in the next video. Take care.